Good evening, I'm Laura Lee. Dan is off tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Today, the Duluth Racial Bias Audit Team, along with the Human Rights Commission, held a public meeting discussing the results from the racial bias audit. Now, the audit began in October of 2022. Its main goal, accessing the perspectives of DPD staff and members of the BIPOC community. Well, to get the audit started, a group of local volunteers came together creating the racial bias audit team. That team got to work identifying 11 objectives, including recruitment, day-to-day -day operations, community relations, and much more. Well, after reviewing department policy, using surveys, interviews, and analyzing body camera footage, the audit team released its findings today. And while the department has shown improvement in certain areas, there is one area DPD needs some work on when it comes to racial disparities. Northern News Now's Car Cop explains. We've done this with it in mind that I think we all believe in people. Duluth's racial bias audit team went before the Human Rights Commission Wednesday discussing results from the audit about racial disparities within the Duluth Police Department, an initiative created shortly after the death of George Floyd. We found overall that they had good demeanor, that they use procedural justice principles when they're interacting with people. The audit highlighted the good qualities of the DPD's operations, including improvements in recruitment and hiring, particularly with diverse candidates, and improving its operational in data transparency. What we found was that there is some strain between the community and the police department. That area of concern in the audit was traffic stops. Half of them were concentrated in four um, areas in Duluth, and it's mostly in the downtown area, Central Hillside, East Hillside, and Lincoln Park neighborhoods. Project manager Katie Zaft says they focused on two types of traffic stops, suspicious vehicle and equipment violations, saying officers were more likely to pull over BIPOC community members compared to white community members. And we found the type of stop really mattered in vehicle stops. So uh, stops for equipment violations like uh, your headlight is out or a license plate light. Audit members say they hope these findings highlight concerns that need to be addressed with DPD when it comes to racial disparities. Which is where they can move forward in building relationships at that personal level when they start to interact with people. But I want to make sure that people understand that the work is not over. Suggesting action steps once the community and police department are aware of these issues. Inviting the community to public meetings and hear the results and offer solutions. In Duluth, Cara Cop, Northern News Now. Cara, thank you. Now, the audit team will be hosting two more public meetings. One is in August on the 23rd at City Hall from 530 to 7. The last meeting is September 7th at the Family Freedom Center from 7 to 830. For these details, you can head over to our website at northernnewsnow.com. That's also where you'll find a link to the full report.